If you're unfamiliar with what bunny hopping is as a mechanic, bunny hopping is when you use jumping to propel yourself forward uh, faster and jump higher than you normally would, similar to how it works in games like Apex Legends or CSGO where you can use bunny hopping to make yourself move really faster on the map. You can do that in Tarkov as well. But in Tarkov, mechanically, bunny hopping is very simple. The basics of bunny hopping and the only real secret to how it works is when you are moving around in the game, the game keeps track of your steps. So you step on one foot and then the other. You hear when you're walking, it's one, two, one, two, one, two. So all you're doing is jumping off your second step or your left foot, right? They're the same thing. So as you're walking or running, you're counting one, two, one, two, one, two. And every time you say two, you jump, right? You're just counting the movement in your head. That is the only secret to bunny hopping. That is, if you know that, you can bunny hop with enough practice. It's all you need to know, and I'll show you what it looks like right now. Now that you understand the basics of bunny hopping, something that a lot of people don't know is you can actually extend the window in which you can bunny hop on. So there's a small window on the second step that you have to get good at practicing the timing for to be able to jump for a bunny hop, but there's a way that you can cheat and extend the window, making the timing a lot easier. If you ever notice when people bunny hop, they free look a lot, right? A lot of people when they're bunny hopping, they're free looking, which isn't abnormal, but free look gets used a lot in this game to peak angles and hallways and stuff, but it actually extends the window in which you can bunny hop. So pretty much once you get the first bunny hop, you can just smash your space bar the whole time while free looking, and it looks like this. You're counting your steps, you're counting your steps, and you just jump whenever you want to do the B hop, and you can just mash the space bar while you're holding free look, and it makes the timing so much easier. All you have to do is get good at landing the first one, and then you can just mash the space bar, which should make bunny hopping so much easier for you. It's a trick people don't really talk about and you don't really know about, but it makes bunny hopping that much easier, and you can get consecutive bunny hops consistently because the window gets opened up more. So definitely, once you get good at practicing the timing of it, definitely get good at practicing free look while doing it as well. I'd get good at both, obviously, because you want to be able to do the timing. So, like, for example, if I'm bunny hopping towards a, a doorway, right? For example, this doorway is open and I want to bunny hop towards it. I want to be able to see if someone peeks. So, if they peek, I can just stop and shoot them. Now that we understand the basics of bunny hopping, which is jumping off our second step, which is our left foot, and we know about using the free look mechanic to extend the window in which we can bunny hop so we can get more consecutive bunny hops, I want to talk about using bunny hops to abuse other game mechanics like right-handed peeks, which is when you peek a doorway from the right side where your right hand comes out first or your right shoulder, you show less of your body than when you peek it with your left shoulder coming out first. This has to do with the placement of the gun on your character. And if you want to learn more about this mechanic and how to get more kills in PvP while showing less of your body, check out the video. I'm going to leave it either in the description or up top. But... If you want to approach this angle and peek it like this, we're left hand peeking, okay? And uh, we're showing our entire body to peek this, and obviously you want to get to this side of the doorway to abuse a right handed peek, where we show only a little bit of our body to do that. Um, running across this doorway is a death trap, because look at how long it is. There's no way we get across here without the guy holding this angle killing us. So what we can do is actually run up to the doorway and jump across but again this requires timing and counting our footsteps in our head there's another way to do it which is more advanced and easier which is when you approach the angle like this you actually use a mechanic which is just jumping in place to reset your steps every time you jump in place it resets the count of your steps so now whatever count you're at if it was one or two it's reset so now you can step twice while free looking and jump so you get a guaranteed b hop to cross you don't have to do a little baby jumping get caught in the doorway and die so again all you have to do is run up to where you want to b hop jump in place and then jump across like that you can even utilize this mechanic in places like skybridge for example where Again, it's like Freezer, where the doorway is super wide, and we don't want to left peek here because we're going to show our whole body, but running across will get us killed. And again, if you don't want to have to worry about timing, you can just jump in place, free look, and jump across, and you get the guaranteed B-hop because jumping in place resets your steps. You can even use this in areas like Red Room. For example, if you're stuck in Red Room, and maybe there's a guy holding this angle down here. I use this a lot, where if they're holding this angle... You can actually come up to the doorway in Red Room, right about here. You can actually jump in place 
and free look and b-hop across and now you have options now you're not stuck in red now you can quick peek this guy you can qe lean him you could swing on him if you wanted to or you could just run away and reposition maybe flank him somewhere else but instead of being stuck in red room and you know maybe he has a friend watching the window down here where you're stuck you can use this anywhere but this lets you utilize the mechanic where you can jump in place to reset your steps and then jump across so now you're safe you can peek someone you have more options you can use this to get away or the other option where you could jump like this and you could jump across so now you're in the doorway you're safe but there's a guy holding it and you don't want to go down there you know you have options and you can utilize this new mechanic that you've learned to get more kills and get away safely at the same time i just want to talk about uh using bunny hops in one more way which is in areas like stairwells like this where you don't want to left peek out of a stairwell to a guy holding an angle like this or holding an angle here maybe he's here you don't want to left peek out of here because you don't have the info and you know, left peeking is bad because when I'm here, I can't see him, but he can see my head. And you want to right peek, but getting across here is so hard. You can do the exact same thing where you jump in place and you can cross just like that. And there's a clip of me actually doing this in, a go uh, in my stream where I jump across like this and I swing on the guy. It looks like this. Where you can see that because I reset my steps by jumping and then I bunny hopped across, I was able to swing on the guy and kill him like that because I came off a right hand peak. So I shot him in the head by the time he saw me, you know? It, ge it gives me a better position. You also can use it, for example, if you're trapped somewhere, you know? if Same position like at Red Room. If you're trapped and you want to get across, all you got to do is jump and then b hop across. Now, the timing is a little uh, harder when you're coming into a doorway because of the the railing up here, right? If you hit your head on this, right, you get caught and then they can shoot you in the head. So you want to make sure that when you're jumping back across that you're not going to hit your head on a doorway. But with timing and practice, right, I hit my head, but I still got in the doorway. I didn't get stuck outside of it. So these are ways that you can use bunny hopping. It's not just in PvP, right? You can use bunny hopping to get across an open area, right? Get across an open area easier. You can use it in a field. You can use it in an open area on factory. You can use it to get to and from doorways safely to reposition. It's, it just gives you so many ins and outs because you learn the mechanic and you can use it to gain an edge in PvP, which will enhance your gameplay and you're going to get more kills. If this video was helpful at all, please leave a like and a comment. Um, if you're interested, I stream every single day on Twitch, 7 p.m. Eastern Time until around 1 a.m. Check out the link below. If this was helpful, please let me know. I want to make more guys like this in the future and enjoy the rest of your night, guys. Thank you.